Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. Today is Monday, December the 20th, 2010, and it's time to look at the markets. Check this out. Okay, let's have a look here at the Hang Seng Index. If you're looking at what's going on over there in Asia, this is the particular index I watch for that. And you will notice you've got last couple of trading days, they've had a little hammer formation sh showing up here, and these uh, show up whenever there's finding some support, and we'll show you that support in a minute. But the main thing I want to draw your attention to on the short-term chart, this is a six-month daily chart, is note the price activity 22.8, and then this is 22.5, thereabouts, as the low. And then you're seeing a downtrend here, but at the same time, the slow stock is showing the low points corresponding between these points here and these points here. Okay, it's showing an uptrend right there, and this is your uh, the slow stock, it, it indicates momentum. So momentum to the downside is decreasing, yet price activity is going lower. So this is known as a bullish setup, or a, a, I'm sorry, a, a bull divergence, where you'd want to be a buyer of this sell-off, not a, a seller. Uh, you can watch for a break above this downtrend line right here for confirmation on that, okay? Now let's have a look at the longer-term picture for the same uh, index. Okay, this is the Hang Seng Index one year weekly chart. Every one of these candlesticks is going to be one week. And you can see here, this is this hammer activity you've been seeing for the past uh, week. So uh, it's only been a day, but anyway, it's it's showing the same support line. You're getting support from this middle Bollinger Band line, this uh, dotted green line right here, as well as previous resistance was here at 22.7, got shot down, bounced up here 22.4, shot down 21.8, shot down, and then broke out. Whenever it breaks out of resistance, here's your resistance line, it starts to act as support. So finding support there makes perfect sense. Basically, this is rally up here, got a little bit overextended, and it's pulled back consolidating short term. It's not uh, anything to uh, you know change your trend. The trend is still here. It's still being uh, totally respected. There's still a bullish uptrend. It's just some consolidation here. And that's important to note because we're seeing that here in the States as well as over there in uh, the FTSE and so forth and so on. So let's have a look at those markets. Okay, this is the Dow Jones Industrial Average Index and it's a one-year weekly chart. I want to show you this time frame so I want to simply show you. This was the previous resistance level prior to the flash crash. Here you've got this uh, point here of resistance. You had a breakout here, which is going to turn this activity here into support. You pull it back below it, closed above it again. Now any movement here, even to the downside, is just going to be finding support here. And that's fine. There's, it's just uh, plainly consolidation, which is what you want to see. And from a bullish standpoint, that would still be in line for an uptrend. It would still be showing uh, more potential to move to the upside. I know a lot of guys out there right now are calling for a, a peak here. Maybe they're looking at sh short, short term, uh, a couple of days to the downs or something like that. But if anybody's trying to call the exact peak here, it, it, there's really a hard time doing that because you've got an uptrend right here. You've got to respect the uptrend. Even right now, if you're moving sideways, you're just moving sideways. There's no, uh, you, you don't call that a, a sell-off or a peak. You know, you've got to wait for the actual trend to reverse. Otherwise, you're trying to call the exact peak, and trust me, that'll get you burned. Uh, right here, you'll notice you've got this high point, all right, just shy of 70, and then you're right here at 64. This is showing a downtrend here, but price activity is showing an uptrend from these corresponding points here and here. If we look at other indicators, we will see that they confirm the uptrend in price activity. So the, the RSI is actually lagging. It's going to have to work its way back up to a higher high than this is what I think is going to happen. So uh, the consolidation is normal to me. We are looking at, across here in the U.S., you, you're looking at a holiday trading for this week. It's going to be light, light volume. Uh, markets are closed on Friday for Christmas. So don't expect a lot of activity, and the sideways activity uh, for the week would make sense too, but I still look for more moves to the upside at this current point. We don't have any reason to expect otherwise. We still have the Fed's uh, uh, POMO going on. All that's going to be driving markets like we saw today with the market was down about 40 points intraday, then sprung back up, and everything closed just about uh, flat, but I think the uh, the Dow Jones is down slightly, but the other all the overall indexes were just kind of uh, closed, relatively the same as they did on Friday, with a slightly bullish uh, trend to them. So I, I keep in mind that at this point, you really have nothing other than some consolidation going on, and there's still some quality buy opportunities out there. We posted a, a new Perfect Stock Alert at our website at perfectstockalert.com. It's right there, 100% free. You can check that out. Uh, all we ask in returns, please refer a friend. A quick look at our disclaimer. 
There's the disclaimer. Read it and weep. God bless. Take care. Enjoy your holidays. I'll be here all week until the markets close. Providing alerts on the website at PurposeLocker.com.